besides the fact that sorcery is a fruit of the flesh and not a fruit of the spirit um these these drugs like crack cocaine uh you know acid angel dust and all those other things they open our they open up our minds to outside um influences outside spiritual influences uh we'll be able to see things that we probably shouldn't shouldn't be seeing okay um and a lot of times satan satan has a greater ability to influence us and to control us and to get us to do things that that is not convenient for us this is why the christian is forbidden to practice uh sorcery um the christian is forbidden to use uh drugs and uh and getting drunk of alcohol we're never told in scripture that it's wrong to drink but we are told in different passages of scripture that 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 we should not be drunk with wine because then we lose control witches are encouraged are encouraged to practice sorcery uh so that they can open their minds up to the to the uh the, to the spiritual realm okay um and we are we are taught as christians to stay away from witchcraft necromancy and the occult altogether anyone who's an ex wish uh, i'm sorry an ex witch and who is a serious a witch knows what i'm talking about verse 14 is the most telling if you ask me it says uh the nations you will dispossess listen to those uh who practice sorcery or divination but as for you the lord your god has not permitted you to do so so if god is telling the children of israel <clears throat> uh to go into the land that that he promised them through uh um by the promises he made to abraham isaac and jacob and he's telling them that the reason why these these nations are being uprooted and that land is being given to the nation of israel at least one of the reasons anyway is that they are listening to people who practice sorcery how much more angry would god be with his church if the church listened to people who practice sorcery let me think about that for a minute now um i got the you, you have the the, the non-regenerated sinful powerful hell-bound non-believing world telling you that you should that you should support sorcery to be legal we shouldn't do that we should be practicing what the scripture tells us to practice to be ye holy because god is holy because that is the will of god for us it is for our sanctification okay um we shouldn't be we shouldn't be trying to make uh these drugs legal in fact we should be preaching on the street that people shouldn't be uh using these drugs all together if you don't want to go to the polls and vote that's one thing but don't ask me as a believer to go to the uh, polls to vote to make drugs legal because i'm not going to do it If the unregenerated, non-believing world uh, wants to uh, make these kinds of drugs um, legal so that they can die faster, then um, let them go out to the polls and vote for these things. But I'm not. I'm going to try to stay as close to the scripture as I can. My Bible tells me to be holy because I am holy. My Bible tells me that I should be concerned about preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that is what I'm concerned about. I am not concerned about going to the polls and making crack angel dust heroin marijuana or any of these drugs not used for uh me for medical purposes um uh to be legal you're not going to get me in the polls to do that and if you're a child of god and you claim that you have the holy spirit indwelling you uh um, controlling you and helping you make your decisions just keep in mind what the bible says about sorcery and what the bible says about these kind of drugs if you wouldn't use it then you need to love your neighbor the way you love yourself and tell them the truth about these illegal drugs they're not good for you. They'll send you to the grave fast. And we should have no part with this at all. And if you don't want to vote on something like this, that's fine. But I highly recommend you don't go to the polls and vote to make this stuff legal. Because if you do, then you're sharing in the iniquity and the sin that the non-believers are going to use uh, 
that the non-believers are doing, um, um, and, and, and God is going to hold you accountable. A man will reap what he sows. Um, and just keep in mind that we're not supposed to lean on our own understanding, but rather we're supposed to lean on the wisdom of God. Okay? Um, we think we know what's right, but in reality, we don't. We have to trust God that, that he knows better than us and that his decisions are greater than ours. Okay? And until next time, guys, this has been another edition of Preaching to the Quiet Ministries. Telling the unbelieving world that if they want to die a, a, a horrific death by using illegal drugs, more power to you. I recommend you don't. You should repent of your sins. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ while you still got time. And read your Bible in context with proper exegesis and do what it says. God bless.